The following video was made for entertainment purposes. This video is not meant to represent the real individuals involved in this video. All voices have been AI generated. Please enjoy. I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but something has happened at the mines I've been supervising. Sir, who the heck are no, you? I don't remember me. speaking no to Biden's long lost cousin this. about gold mines last You're time I checked my calendar. Big, wow, not even 10 seconds in and your mouth has opened up wide, well, I see. At least we know for certain we're watching island. Donald Trump play. Real big. So many friends. And even my own son are still out there. If anyone can bring this thing down, it's you. Of course, so after all, the 45th president, president has taken many seen. things down and myself. An Throw friend. anything at me and I'll knock yes, it down with my hands. Meet me on the docks at sunset. I hope you're ready for a little monster hunt. All right, what on God's green earth is that thing? The thing you're taking down with your bare hands, Donald. Excuse me, that thing? Have fun, Donnie. Yes, sir. They call him Charles. Half train, half giga spider from hell. Ah, uh, hell nah. A giant freaking big massive spider? Are you insane, Joe Biden's cousin? Why do you keep referring to him as my cousin? That should not take a mad scientist to put together a joke, Joe. Stay close. Charles isn't the only thing to fear around here. Ah, uh, great. Thanks for letting me know. Joe's cousin. What it is, everyone. It's me, Barack Obama. Today, we're joined with Joe Biden to witness Donald J. Trump trying to catch the world's largest spider known to man. No, sir. I'm not catching this thing. I'm burning it to shreds when possible. Humanity does not need no creature a size like that. I'm grateful to have never fought that thing in the back rooms. My soul would have erupted just glancing at that thing. Anyways, for those who are curious, this is Choo Choo Charles, a horror game where we battle against a demon train who's been terrorizing a village or something like that. This is one of the only few horror games we were able to find that Donnie himself doesn't know too well. So seeing this should be interesting. Even with the very little knowledge I know, I'll still kick this thing's rear, no doubt. There's a small shack up the path that might have a key inside. Take this map, I just marked the location on it. Joe, why is your cousin's neck seemingly disproportionate? Like as if it's been stretched. Is he an alien or something? Donald, I have no clue who this guy is. Can you stop asking me questions or making comments about him being my cousin? I'll probably stop when he's dead, all right? You're probably not going to stop after that, are you, Donald? Likely not. I'll probably still keep going with it even without realizing it. This old train right here actually doesn't look half bad for something so simple. Kind of want to ride it myself. No, little Joe, this is for the grown-ups only. And the grown-ups have to use it to kill a demonic spider train thing that's killing people. Well, what about afterwards? Will it be free to ride then? Just because you asked, no. Something tells me a gun like that isn't going to be enough to take down that train demon. Yeah, I suspected as much as you did. We're screwed. We'll make it work, gentlemen. Totally. Well, the exterior is a little rough, but everything looks to be intact. That gun you were looking at wasn't on here when I was evacuated from the island, but it sure looks fun to use. <laughs> we can light up Charles with it and take him down before he even sees us coming. Are you ready to take this thing for a spin? That's a red flag already. That, no, absolutely not, sir. Well, it doesn't seem like he cares either way, so I guess we're moving this baby ahead. Full speed ahead, baby. boys. We're coming for you, Charles! I know for a fact this is about to go down pretty bad. It's him! Ah, oh, hell nah! We're fighting this thing with a pea shooter! Are you crazy, Joe Biden's cousin? Okay, I knew it was gonna be bad, but I didn't know it'd be this early. What was my cousin thinking of facing this demon this early into the game? Shut up, Joe Biden's cousin! Oh no, this is bad! Not my cousin! Oh, this is so, so horrible. He isn't alive after that, is he? How could he be? Bro got stabbed in all angles by like four large spider legs. <laughs> this isn't how things were supposed to end. Oh yeah, he is 100% dead. Ain't no way he's gonna live with a giant hole in his stomach and scratches around the neck. No, this can be. We just reunited minutes ago and now he's gone. Excuse me, is Donald messing with you that good or something? Is he actually your cousin? No, I'm not joking. Eugene is actually my long-lost cousin. I was just denying it um, because not only did I forget, but I didn't want to admit to Donald being right about him being my cousin. 
Not gonna lie, that was the last thing I expected to hear from you. You've now intrigued me with this Eugene guy just because he's actually your cousin. Are none of us gonna talk about the fact that Eugene is dead? Um, sorry, uh, who's Eugene again? I forgot. All right, Sleepy Joe, what the actual f Where do we plan on going, gentlemen? For now, I think we plan on going to the blue-colored icon because it's a required mission. I believe it'll be the best thing to see what dipping my toes into this hell water feels like. Dang, now that we have a better look at this, this is a pretty large area we're traveling in. Not gonna lie. All right, that should lead us to the right direction. Onwards, gentlemen. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of relaxing. Riding the train down some long railing with the boys is actually quite nice. Yeah, now that you mention it, yeah, this is quite nice. Maybe sometime in the future we can do something like this when we meet up again. If I'm not mistaken, there might be a recently built train station around my area. So maybe we can meet up where I'm at if that works. Sounds like a plan, gentlemen. We've arrived to our destination, boys. What a small house this individual lives in. We believe there may be a way to get Charles to commit to a mortal battle, however. Dispersed around the island are three eggs, locked in the island's three primary mines. I'm sorry, this thing lays eggs now? Our theory is that putting these eggs in the temple at the center of the island will provoke Charles into a fight to the death. Unfortunately, the mining company owner, Warren Charles III, has placed armed guards inside each mine to protect the eggs. And a cult too? Wow, how amazing. There's just an our egg luck, gentlemen. in the mine just down the rail. It's no wonder I was called here. They want me, the 45th president of the United States, take down both a cult and a massive demonic spider. I don't know about you, but that sentence alone makes this feel like a very daunting task. I don't know if I myself would be able to deal with that. It's okay, Joe. That's why they want the bigger man to do it, a K.A. me. Wow, someone's feeling very confident now, even though earlier you were complaining about fighting that spider train thing. Obama, has your mom ever taught you the most important thing about organizing a cult in the U.S.? Um, no, actually. What is it? When you organize a cult, the biggest mistake you could ever make when doing so is creating or organizing a cult when the President of the United States of America is me. Maybe this island really does need Donnie. Just listen to him. He sounds like the guy to kill a demonic spider. All right, let us check this place out, gentlemen. While mining the farthest tunnel, we broke through a wall into a large cavern. There's something strange here, and we don't know what it is. We're requesting that Mr. Warren visit the southern mine site at his earliest convenience to give us further instructions. What do you think that note was about? From assumptions alone, there's a chance your long-lost cousin found one of those eggs that woman earlier was talking about, and whoever this Warren guy is is likely keeping it captive. Maybe he's the leader of this cult Donnie was referring to? Guys, hold on, I think we have company. Okay, so Warren was smart enough to hire a guard to keep the egg at bay. Guess we're sneaking around him, boys. Ooh, playing stealthy, my favorite. That has to be the egg the woman earlier mentioned. And now it's ours. That was easy. Maybe Warren only invited deaf guards, or maybe his whistling is so loud he just couldn't hear my footsteps. All right, well, let's book it out of here now, just to be safe. We probably should head over to whoever this is. There's a chance he may give us a weapon to work around our little pea shooter. Hopefully it would be something to take that thing down for good so we can avenge Eugene. I made a little flamethrower as an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but as you can see, that is slightly uh, backfired. <laughs> So now we have to save this guy's shed for a flamethrower, I heard. Sounds quite useful if you ask me. Are spiders in real life allergic to flames? From what I heard, it's usually a terrible strategy because of the fact that a flamethrower can cover more than just a spider. Supposedly homes were burnt down just trying that idea. Wait, extinguishing this dude's shed was as easy as a water tank? Using the water tank to put out the fire. 
pure genius. Woohoo! No wonder his shed was on fire. Here, take old bug spray. Cause of this chaos. I don't want to see it anywhere near here again. Oh yeah, it's time, gentlemen. Wow, this is a nice weapon to make up for the pathetic little pea shooter. The only thing that sucks is that they both at some point overheat, so I guess I have to switch back and forth between both weapons to fight the demon train. Guess that means we'll in general need more weapons or something. Look, kid, I know you're supposed to be some fancy pants monster hunter, but... Sir, what is wrong with your neck? I don't think I've seen anyone used. stretch it like that to what make the most awkward 90 degrees I've ever seen. All right, so we're supposed to unlock this chest because it wouldn't budge open for him. Of course, he would leave it to me the 45th president of the United States of America to do such a task. You say that as you keep failing? Shut it, Obama. This requires more concentration than you think. Sure thing, Donald. Easy as always for me. That took so long, I'm actually quite positive Joe's asleep right now. Sleepy Joe, are you asleep right now? Joe? Mr. Biden, make your rule up this instance. Oh, what? Jill, is that you? Please don't spank Hunter again. He's just had a rough day today. Excuse me. What? All right. Well, now that we have enough scraps, it's about time we actually upgrade this dump. Hopefully then would we finally stand a chance against that demon. I don't know if this upgrade will be enough, guys. Then we'll just find more scraps to make up for it, I assume. Was that him or the ambiance? I don't know, but just prepare for the worst, Donald. All right, well, this should be where we need to be, gentlemen. Do every single one of these people live in such small houses, or are we just somehow cherry-picking? Wait, hold up. Is he here right now? Oh, my gosh. Yes, he is. What in the name of this island is he doing here right now? I don't know, Donald. Just burn him to smithereens. I'm trying, Obama, but these weapons burn out so quickly. Gosh darn it, Charles. Why of all times must you catch me this off-guarded? Just die already! Donald, it's not working. What do we do? I don't know, Joe. Well, think of something quick, because... Great, just great. Now we're dead. I did tell you to prepare for the worst, Donald. Shut it, Obama. All right, well, I guess we really do need to upgrade this bad boy after that failure of a fight. You know what, Charles? Come at me again, and I'll be very much ready next time. That was just one round out of best of three. You've only won the first round. Didn't Charles technically won the best of three already? No, that was Joe's cousin's fault. We even got into a fight that early. This is only the beginning. I'm sorry, Eugene. Please forgive us. We're happy you came to help us out of this predicament with Charles and that madman Warren. You know, that old train of yours will need some major upgrades if you want to take down Charles. There are some metal scraps in my barn that you could use to improve it. Here's the key to the barn. It's just up the path, but I'll mark it on your map anyway. Okay, so now that we're away from him, am I allowed to talk about how weird his voice is? I don't think a normal human being would in the West would ever have a frog blocking their throat like that. On one hand, I'd call you insensitive, but on the other hand, I don't disagree either. Even though Eugene has promised to send help once he reaches the mainland, I've just realized he never mentioned if he'd return. I suppose he is the type of person to ignore the fine details of a plan. Everyone on the island is trying to find a way out of this mess, and I can only hope that this archivist friend of his can work some magic. I don't care what strange things they've done before or what practices they use as long as Charles ends up dead. Most folks around here want the same, but then there are those crazies that want to leave him be. That darn Warren has lost his marbles. So there really is a cult going on here? I knew it. What gave you the assumption of that? Joe, come on. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to put the two and two together. Madman Warren lost his marbles. People rather they leave Charles B. And mines that likely are owned by Warren have Charles eggs being kept deep in while being watched over by security. It's obvious at this point. Speaking of cult, did any of you notice how that one guard we saw at the mines looked to have been wearing some sort of mask? Proving my point even further with that piece of evidence. Well, now that you put it that way, I guess I can't disagree with that idea. I need my pickles! I'm already sensing a lot of red flags out of this individual. Why are her arms spread out like an old lady wanting to give a hug? And why did she just shout to the world for pickles? Are we not going to talk about how uncanny her expression was during that conversation? Especially her eyes. 
something looked wrong with them. I find it very funny how none of you chose to mention all of the NPC's expressionless faces until right now because she asked for pickles. Would you have rather I'd mention it from the beginning? Oh, nice. I didn't know we could paint our train till now. Okay, now that's just weird. How much do you want to bet she's somehow part of a cult? I can't think of a normal human being who demands pickles like she did. Easy money, easy money. Why in the world couldn't you have done that a couple minutes back at that one other place with the weird neck guy? That back there was just my warm-up, like that first round we had with Charles. Please do not call me that, ma'am. That sounds incredibly weird. Thanks for the scraps, I guess, weirdo. All right, now it's time to really upgrade this bad boy. Serious question, gentlemen. Whenever a full-on one-on-one happens with that demon, do you think we could win? I would have earlier said absolutely, but honestly, I think you should re-ask me that question whenever I get into another small fight with him, and maybe I'll have a proper answer. Whatever the case may be, I hope you can win, Donald. Thanks, Barry. My goodness. The others actually convinced someone to come help us. Honestly, you're all lucky. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Of course you forgot something. Who wouldn't? Gosh, man. It's a dangerous journey for sure. But you might manage with that train of yours. Wow, that is indeed a far journey for someone on foot. Guess he should have just not have forgotten your most important item, huh? Haven't you forgotten some stuff before when you went on trips or something? Once before and never ever again. Wish that were me. Unloading all the supplies has been an incredibly eye-opening experience. Here at the port, we've been working all day, every day. We are tasked with unloading the boat and running supplies up the hill to the tracks, where Theodore and Eddie deliver them to the different sites we'll be mining. The sheer cost of all this infrastructure is mind-blowing. With all the success Warren's family has had in this business, I'm surprised he's choosing to take such a risk here. Oh, great. So now you're telling me he has power over this island? Does this technically make him the governor or something? I assume so, gentlemen. Something must have happened in the middle if he's lost his marbles. What a crazy town we're trying to defend, from one weirdo to another. Oh, what's that? You want a round two? I'll give you a round two, Charles. It's time to fight again. This time, I'm not going to let you have the upper hand like you did last time. I'm going to make you cry to your mommy after I flame your ugly baby face. Yeah, go get him, Donald. Eat this, you ugly freak. Yeah, keep crying about it. I wouldn't want my face on fire now, would I? Maybe you should have never challenged the one and only Donald J. Trump to a one-on-one fight. Matter of fact, maybe you should have never been born as a demonic spider in the first place. Hasn't your mom ever taught you to never challenge a fearless man with loaded weapons and firearms like me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Run away like a coward, Charles. Wow, that was awesome, Trump. That was one crazy fight you put up, Trump. I'm proud of you. Thanks, you two. Those kind words means a lot to me. Oh, yeah, Donald, about that question. Don't worry, Biden. I'm sure as heck gonna slap this ugly spider out of this island, and I will avenge your long-lost cousin as well. Wow, I guess this island will be saved in your hands, Donnie. All right, well, should we end the video here today, gentlemen? Sure thing. I think that was a wonderful note to go off of. Eugene can rest well, knowing we got this in the bag. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video we brought to you all today. This was a wild one, so I hope we did a good job entertaining you all. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to Jared Gaming. It helps us and Jared produce more of these videos. By the way, thank you, everyone, for the insane amount of support you've been giving us lately. It's honestly amazing seeing how quickly the previous two videos blew up unexpectedly. We hope to keep going and provide you more of these videos. Well, other than that, take care, everyone. And And God God bless bless you all. all.